What is precision medicine? Well, think of it as better able to predict the future, better able to predict future events. Think about predicting risks to wellness. Think about it predicting prognosis. Think about it predicting response to therapy. Right now, we have a fairly generic approach. Who's at greatest risk for getting hypertension? Who might develop a specific cancer? We don't have sophisticated, tailored, objective data to draw on to help people understand their risk, think about the ethical and social implications of understanding that risk, and then disseminating that information in ways that people can use. So one of our goals is to predict better wellness and health and provide that to patients and families in ways that they can use it to change their lifestyle or anticipate changes uh, in their family. Similarly, uh, while we're getting better and better at predicting prognosis in people with established illness, cancer, neurologic disease, etc., we don't really have the kind of sophisticated, individualized, uh, predictive models that we would use that together would change treatment planning. I think if we can take person characteristics, markers of progression, whether it's genomic markers or exposure markers, and combine those together with environmental sciences and behavior, we can help people better understand what their prognosis is, whether it's following trauma, cancer, heart disease. Now, we're going to do a much better job at working with you to understand that. And then finally, our treatment regimens have become more and more sophisticated. But now we need to link treatment opportunities to individual patients. What's the right treatment for the right person at the right time with the highest chance of response? Or if there's a lower chance of response, not exposing somebody to those side effects. This is the future of precision medicine. We think that Davis is going to be making very significant contributions.